Okay, so I'm finally mounting a boat ladder um, here on the Contessa. And this would be not just for getting back in the boat from a dinghy, but to re-enter uh, from the water. Uh, in other words, like a swim ladder. So, uh, as you can see, the stern has a very steeply raked transom. Um, plus the monitor wind vane is kind of in the way. Uh, but even if the monitor wasn't there, um, there's really only one option. That would be a folding boat ladder with uh, some pretty lengthy standoffs. Um, I've chosen to get a telescoping ladder, uh, mainly for cost and availability. Uh, plus, uh, they store much better. So I know of one other Contessa um, with a telescoping boat ladder. And her owner chose to mount it right in this area here so that it can be tied to the leading edge of the push pit and also allow you access to the um, the cockpit from where you would unhook the lifelines and the boat ladder that I have chosen which I've had for some time is a four-step model uh, this will allow me to get into the boat from the water uh, when when swimming up to it uh, but uh, because it's longer length um, it will flex quite a bit assuming assuming it even holds my weight which I'll have to test um, and because of the longer length I think I'm going to have to make some um, some minor modifications and here is the basic location of where the ladder will be uh, so the brackets here We'll need to clear the uh, fuel cap for the diesel tank as well as the base of the push pit. Um, and you'll notice that uh, when the brackets are held horizontally, the ladder itself is actually on an angle, which is something I'm going to have to accommodate with my modification. Uh, but to make a spacer, I have some pieces of uh, yellow ballow left over from that picnic table I took apart to utilize the wood and other projects. Uh, so I'll have to get started on that first. Okay, I've taken a block of that wood and made some stepwise cuts. There's some remains, just with some basic hand tools. And now checking for fit. Seems to be just right. So this is not high enough as this, so I need to epoxy on a little bit of, a little piece here. Now I've added a little piece to the top, just glued it on and sanded the blocks. And as a test fit, they seem to be pretty good. Varnished with three coats of Cetol. I've got those blocks drilled. Uh, just use the ladder itself as a template. Um, and I use a drill press because if I had used a hand drill, they surely would have gotten, been crooked. Uh, and then I used the the blocks themselves is a template for the holes in the deck. Um, this this area there's coring, so I'm going to overdrill and fill with epoxy. Uh, this area I know to be just solid fiberglass because when I bought the boat, there were some looked like there was some work being done here. This wasn't even here. The uh, uh, the fuel filler and um, ended up putting several layers of fiberglass under here, so it's it's relatively thick. And now for that wood cord area, I've drilled those holes a little bigger and filled with epoxy. Drilled the right size hole to accommodate the screw and the wood core is protected. And in preparation for butyl tape, I beveled the holes on top of the blocks as well as the fiberglass there. And now I've through bolted that, uh, put butyl tape in there and in there. You can see it's starting to squeeze out. Um, I did not add any kind of backing block from beneath. Uh, fiberglass is plenty thick, so I just used some large fender washers. And now is the test. So I'll remove the bungee. It's actually off already. And here we go. Well, it's holding me, and that's a pretty considerable mass since uh, I'm well over 200 pounds these days. Uh, let's see a side profile. Uh, 
and it handled it well, I think. Uh, so storage should be easy. Uh, let's just use this bungee here. I'll probably just tie it to the push pit here. Uh, I'll leave it like that for now. Uh, there's one little bit of caution here. This does stick out uh, maybe about an inch and a half or two. Um, and the potential risk there is if I hit a piling, you know, coming out of a, a dock or, or whatever, um, that could be a potential hazard. Uh, but hopefully it would just bend the ladder and not rip the, uh, not rip the deck open. So what's next? This project came out much, much better than I thought it was going to be. Um, and the quality of this ladder is much better than I thought it would be. Um, I mean, this was a worst case scenario test, right? I stood on the very bottom rung of the ladder, which is the thinnest part. Um, and that was out of the water. So you know, when you're in the water, you have a little bit of support. You're not quite as heavy. And uh, it took the weight with no problem. Um, and there was no contact of the ladder to the fiberglass or even the rub rail. So that worked out well. Um, I did mention that I had a potential modification in mind in the beginning of this video, and that was to make standoffs. Uh, I had some tubing left over from the monitor frame. And the idea was to uh, do something like this where it would be supported against the hull. Um, and I was going to, I was starting to make a kind of a strap here. Uh, this would be the hinge for the standoff so that they would kind of just fall downwards when the when the ladder was stored upright. But I, I don't think I'm even going to do that. Um, I have to say I'm, I'm, I'm quite impressed at how well this ladder did. I mean, there was a tiny bit of flexing, but that's to be expected. And uh, I think I'm going to use it just as is.